so much to be honored with uh, a long uh, introduction. <laughs> I promise uh, to them to just say some words. So I will just say they are uh, solid architects and uh, good uh, academic teachers from the Soviet. And they are going to show us some of their uh, projects uh, about uh, river uh, redevelopment. So I want to give the floor to Francisco Gomez Diaz and uh, uh, Javier Pablo Navarro. Sure. <laughs> uh, you have um, for nothing uh, uh, one person very important for us, that is our colleague, <laughs> Marta. Uh, she wants to finish this lecture because she has a surprise and nobody else. <laughs> 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 okay, <laughs> it's a pleasure for us to stay here in, in this uh, workshop uh, because uh, it's a way to learn, I think, that, uh, not only for students, but for us, uh, which kind of uh, workshop or seminar is just an opportunity to learn always. Uh, it's very difficult for us 
to have today this lecture after <laughs> Mark and Miriam, they, they have put the, the level very high for us. Anyway, <laughs> today we will see uh, two different projects, uh, two parks, uh, one in Seville and another in Umbria, in the center of Italy. Uh, I will show you the first one and Javier the second. And later, Marta, I will have. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> this first uh, project is a, a park in Seville, in our city. Uh, it was uh, the product of a competition, a theory competition that we won. And after uh, 10 years of uh, work, uh, the park is finished, and after that, we won a prize in the uh, last stage European Award uh, called Meister. Uh, the second one is the product of the uh, research project with the Sapienza University, in which uh, we have worked with Fabrizio uh, Topetti, uh, Eduardo Purra, and Federico uh, Di Cosmo, between other people. Uh, Seville is in the south of Spain. You know that there is a topology that uh, the north always is rich, the south is poor. It happens everywhere, including Europe. In Spain, it's the same topic. The north of Spain is rich, and we are in the south, so we must be. Seville is uh, in a position in the southwest in uh, a very important river for us, uh, that is the uh, river Guadalquivir. Uh, Guadalquivir is uh, in Slavic name. Uh, that means uh, what El Kevir, the uh, Greek river. It's not a Greek river. As not as uh, the Po, as not as the Mississippi, we showed you the other day. Uh, but for us, it's a very important uh, river. Uh, in the Roman times, uh, the river uh, arrived not directly to the Atlantic Ocean, but in a lacus interior lake called lacus ligustinus. You can see uh, any kind of uh, these pictures in the left side. Uh, Seville is there. I, I can <laughs> show you. Uh, it's the name there. Uh, because uh, we thought that before arriving to the project of the park, we had to think about uh, in territorial scale of the relationships between this city and uh, the territory around it, especially along the river. Uh, this Lagus, Lake Lagustinus, eh, uh, along 22,000 uh, years, uh, arrived to become uh, in marshes. Uh, you see, the pictures are really beautiful. It's from a, a very interesting movie, which is called La Isla Minima. I recommend you. Uh, so, if you look at the uh, area of Seville, you will see different courses of the river. Because the old one is in the right side, because uh, uh, it was a very problematic uh, river. Uh, we have nearly each year a flood. Because of that, uh, the, the course of the 
river has moved um, continuously. And in this moment, you can see that the Libyan river is in the left side. Okay. What do we do? The river is not the foot of the river, the river bed. The river is just this area of water that uh, becomes when uh, the flood arrives. Because of that, uh, we thought that the best way was to draw this equation. Because of that, you can see in the Libyan River, because now this is a canal, and like in Bing, so uh, this is a fixed level because we have some locks to control the level of the water. Anyway, the Living River is, uh, is uh, uh, a canal, again, an artificial canal, but uh, the session is uh, huge and has no problem. Uh, <laughs> it's here as uh, before uh, this construction of the canal happened. Uh, and we did this scheme, this sketches, because it was very important for us not only the main river, the Guadalquivir River, but the second river of Seril, which name is Guadaira. The Guadaira is uh, a very curious, very important for us city, uh, river because join all the main cities in the uh, metropolitan area. Eh? There are Morón, Alcalá de Guadaira, Seville, and those Hermanas. Uh, so it's a very important uh, river in the structure of the territory. Uh, because of that, we thought that was very important to say that Seville has two rivers, not only one. This uh, thinking about uh, the territory uh, permit to permit to us to design a master plan and strategy uh, about this area of the south of Seville. Uh, that is to create a matrix or a network of public spaces of green corridors to connect everything around not only of the two rivers but connecting all the parks inside the uh, city in this southern area of Seville. Uh, we did it because the city council uh, called to some competition about the parks uh, to build them around the city in the uh, peripheral network. Uh, because the center of Seville, we thought that has uh, a good quality of public spaces, but uh, not uh, happen the same with all the neighborhood around the city. Because of that, it was a collection very important to build a green belt around the city, okay? including, of course, the rivers. When we arrived to this area, the, the first thing, thing that I felt was the smell very bad. Because uh, all the area in the air, in, 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 in the <laughs> right side of the, of the river, because the river runs in this direction, uh, were nearly uh, all uh, industrial areas. That uh, uh, hasn't built and plant uh, to uh, deposition the water. And in this moment, we are uh, building this plant uh, in Alcalá de Guadaira, but uh, wasn't finished when we arrived. And the river smelled really bad. And was a desert. Like you see, this is the Living River, Guadaira, and later we had the Green Road uh, around Seville, we had the railway line 
in this area. So it was easy for designing a barge. This is that uh, we thought, uh, which is our strategy, strategy to connect all these barges. The first was uh, to visit this area, as you can see, was uh, a Navarandon uh, area uh, with uh, very few trees, almost uh, where eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is an Australian tree, it's not, it's not an autochthonous uh, tree. Uh, where were uh, some uh, things very interesting, like this mill, eh? uh, called San Juan de los Teatinos, uh, but uh, as you can see, was uh, an area uh, very, uh, very few interesting. Eh? As you can see, the infrastructure, infrastructure uh, became, became in the most important thing in the landscape, as you can see. And, uh, this area of the industrial uh, periphery zone uh, was less interesting than uh, In this <laughs> moment, we uh, designed uh, this competition with a uh, water sensitive landscape strategies. Uh, in order to put in value uh, some things that we uh, consider very important. Mm -hmm. the, because from the point of view of the social area, the urban condition, the landscape, the heritage, including this new, no? and the cultural and ecological values that we thought that we have to uh, improve in this area. Uh, above all, because it is, I, I have spoken about the industrial area, but uh, the neighborhood uh, join to this park is probably the more problematic neighborhood, not only in, in Seville, but I think that nearly in all states. <coughs> is Is this area called Las Vegas? <laughs> Las Vegas, like the, the city in the United States. Uh, it's a supermarket of any kind of drugs. Uh, and even if you need any kind of missing, you can go there and in 24 hours you get things. Uh, the police doesn't want to go in this neighborhood. Is very problematic. So we thought that the first thing was to, to have a, a meeting and join with the representatives of this neighborhood to know what they wanted to do in this park for them. Yeah. And they told us that it was very important to have meeting points, uh, places where they could sit to take the sun, to make some kind of sport, but uh, above all, one very important thing for them was uh, uh, yeah, an area of uh, urban orchard, because most of them were very old and uh, they didn't work, and so it was very important for them, for, for them to have a place where to cultivate anything uh, for themselves. Uh, what did we do in the, in the first time? As you see, uh, I, I have spoken about three different bands between the, uh, the limit of the city, of the industrial area, the Green Road, the S30, the river, and the railway line. So, we designed a strategy to pull 90 degrees in order to connect all them as was possible. And 
because of that, uh, you see that the main line of the structure of the part is just uh, in the opposite line of the infrastructure. Uh, but another important thing is how to make a transition between the city and the landscape. It was very important for us because we had uh, the city has a geometry, a very clear geometry, and the landscape has no geometry, any kind of geometry. So we designed this uh, strategy uh, that how to uh, dissolve the limits of the geometric areas in the border of the city in order to arrive to a, an organic uh, shape when the park arrived to the nowhere. The landscape, we call the landscape, but it's nowhere. Uh, this strategy uh, had uh, developed with the plantation of the trees because we thought that the the best way were to insert, to plant the trees just when the limits were geometrical with a chaotic pattern for the trees. Anyway, when the, the area was an organic one, we put you know, a pattern perfectly reticulated. Okay? And in the center between the rail road and the river was a transition between one and another. This is what we call entropy eh? in the limits of the pattern and on the uh, pattern of the plantation. This is the first general plan when you can see how this strategy was drawn. This is uh, a plan for yeah. uh, we present to the municipality. Uh, there are uh, some things for us very important. This is the meal, which was very, 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 very big. Uh, just in the in the river in the Guadaira River, but uh, it uh, has no function, was abandoned, and uh, there was an original canal that uh, was closed. Uh, there was no water. Uh, because of that, we thought that was very important to recover the old maps around the place in order to uh, recover some strategies. Uh, from the water. Uh, the mobility uh, had different kind of levels. I will show you in another map, but some of them was from the general plan of Seville. Uh, the other was uh, anyone that was path, existing path that we uh, incorporate to the ordination. And later we designed a system with different types uh, of uh, mobility for uh, the maintenance, for uh, pedestrian, uh, for uh, cycles, and, and in, in some cases uh, we mix together because uh, it was necessary. Uh, we have another, another infrastructure that is the metro line of Seville. And that is elevated, and now we will see. Uh, the second thing important for us uh, in the water is that uh, although they were finishing this plant of depuration, we thought that the quality of the water wasn't enough good to recover the line because there was no fish in the river, it was very contaminated. So we designed a system of fito depuration. Imagine uh, that you know what's that. It's kind of plant that depurated the water, 
and we feed it before arriving to the meal. Uh, as the flu is uh, very common, not every year, but every four or five years, uh, we design some dams for two things, to convert this area in wetlands, and the second, that it was an area for the weather in the flu, eh? to control the flu. It was very important. Eh? The third thing that we did was a system of tools for irrigation. Eh? We uh, take uh, some water of the river, arrive to the higher uh, pool, that with a system with the rain uh, water and the drain water of all the park arrives to a deposit. Mm, and we uh, made the irrigation by gravity eh, for all the park. And uh, later, to think about <coughs> which kind of trees uh, we have to plant here, because um, this is a different way for uh, of the landscapes. It's not the same the <coughs> river sides. Of the, of the river, and that we thought in a forest uh, of uh, rivering uh, plants or trees, and mm, the autochthonous uh, trees of the Mediterranean forest. So we designed a transition between the river you know, and the other part of the of the. Uh, as uh, the neighborhood representatives uh, ask us, we design a lot of areas where were concentrated the meeting areas, the different sports, all the activities in the park that is not to work and had place in different areas. I show you uh, any one of them, as you say. Ten. The main one was just here, and near the mill that I told you. Uh, the mill was very important, and the University of Sevil uh, thought to uh, build inside to recover this mill uh, for the Faculty of Agricultural Engineering. But uh, arrived the crisis, and did nothing. It was the second phase, including some things like a, a building for facilities of this part of the bridge that uh, was the second phase that never happened. At the end, this is the last image of the park. <laughs> you can see everyone of the more than 3,500 trees we planted. And several, probably with the same uh, number of brushes. Uh, the colors are the uh, municipal code because uh, they can put all this information uh, uh, in the website and, and they can see how many kind of each trees uh, in all the, city, in the whole areas of uh, parks or also in the city. You can see <coughs> uh, some areas of the whole system that I spoke to you. Uh, one of them is down the, the metro line. And here are the sections where you can see how we pass under the railroad of Seville, the bridge that we designed in the, in the river that is not built, and every kind of strategies. 
almost each uh, recreation area. Uh, we thought that all of them uh, have, must have uh, a green area, uh, a vegetal, vegetable area uh, uh, with grass and uh, some kind of trees, uh, a mineral one that was uh, a system that I show you in the in the picture. It's, it's a, a prefabricated system of uh, concrete that is the same for the benches. That you see, that is like uh, we make uh, this as like an extrusion elevation of the pavement. Uh, uh, one pool of the system of irrigation and the olden have always uh, evergreen uh, trees and deciduous trees. Normally, that in the winter, we pull always in, the, in this area uh, the sun that the uh, neighborhood representative has. has. This is some strategies of the landscape design. Uh, I explain this, and you see the different kind of trees that we planted. Another strategy was uh, how to introduce different strategies of colors, of shapes, and shadow. What does it mean? As you see, in this area, we put a trees that has an unknown color. Uh, this was Jupiter. I don't know how is the name in English. <laughs> Jupiter tree that is red. This is really nice. And, or we put Cypress that has a form uh, very vertical and, and is very recognized than the, this tree uh, anywhere. Or how we produce like this area. <coughs> of the deciduous trees in order that in the winter you have a silent area for the people. This is the, the strategies uh, that you can see develop. And later, different kinds of payment depending on the area uh, of the function Related to the, to the area, uh, how we did the benches and so on, some kinds of pilots. Okay, design uh, the construction, how to use any kind of things in order uh, to uh, design the strategy of this area. Later, we made uh, a study of each one of the trees that we had to plant. Here, according with the, uh, uh, the shape, according with the dimension, according with the color, uh, according with the kind of error of being of the seedless trees, there was uh, like an abecedario mm -hmm. uh, related to the trees and all the spices with thin. Uh, so on. Uh, this is some picture about the, the park. This is the, the prefabricated uh, pavement of concrete. It's uh, a piece of one meter or 50 centimeters that has eight centimeters uh, that uh, when you put over the grass directly, you don't need anything. And we can drain all this uh, between the joint and the grass can grow in the intermediate areas. Uh, this is the transition in, in one of these areas uh, of meeting point uh, for people. This is uh, the school system that 
that we put this kind of rock uh, forming these uh, areas, round areas, uh, uh, to plant um, uh, white lions, uh, papyrus, and so on. Uh, it's a way to have a place uh, nearly uh, in the, this, this one is the highest one, is the, the beginning of the irrigation system. This is uh, one of the paths which is mixed between uh, the uh, maintenance and pedestrian area uh, that is made with a kind of uh, sand in, in, from the metropolitan area of Seville that uh, is used in the bull right ring. Uh, I don't know if you have ever seen the bull right ring, but it's always this kind of sun that is called albero and rain very, very well. And uh, you can see the Russian that grows eh, like a way to continue uh, a geometric strategy between one part and another of the paths. This is a pedestrian path made uh, with wood eh, and that uh, incorporated some trees inside because there was no problem. Uh, we thought that uh, it was possible to have a shadow along the, the lawn. Another uh, area of uh, stay uh, with all the components that I have explained in other areas, always uh, the picture are made just when the park is finished, so some trees uh, are uh, even very short. This pool, uh, we put two. One of them was down the, the metro line that you can see over the, the park that connect uh, Seville with another uh, village of the metropolitan area that is uh, Dos Hermanas. Another photograph, these eucalyptus were there before we arrived and we decided to maintain them. Another picture of this area. Sometimes we needed to make a transition of, uh, with the topography and appear this concrete wall according to the area where uh, the, the functioning and sport will take place. Uh, yeah, we can see the, the bench is built and uh, we sign just in this point under the railroad uh, a building with the uh, function uh, like a facility. But, uh, as I told you, uh, was the second phase and the crisis didn't allow to, to build it. Another pool, uh, we have some pipes of the training system. And the, the, the company didn't want, they, they, they really want to, to destroy them. Uh, and we decided that we could uh, make this uh, <laughs> land art like Michael Heiser uh, or Nancy Hall uh, around just in the, in the pool. This is a picture of, the, of this uh, one of the uh, wetland that we built uh, in front of the mill that is at the end, uh, and some dams that uh, helps the level elevated. It was very, very curious.
Studio City eh, sin la cabecilla esta eh, fue muy plan de decoration six venda you see the upper the part of the photography eh, the fishes then eh, after eh, six or, or eight months and eh, the Specialist, the engineering specialist of the river uh, told us that we have to build in a scale for fishes. In one side, uh, like the, the well, the dam well, had approximately 80 feet meters. It was not possible for, for fish to jump uh, this uh, dam. Because of that, uh, they asked us to build like uh, a system of different small uh, uh, lakes uh, uh, with the difference of 15 centimeters that pull the maximum that these fishes, uh, above all fruit and carp, pull jump. And so uh, I can I have a, a picture of this. We built that and it was really impressive to arrive there uh, to see the, the fish uh, jumping in this area. Uh, it was very, very curious for us. Here you see the, the canal uh, uh, of connecting the mill with the river again. This was run to arrive the, the, from the river to the mill that, uh, as you see, it's not restored. This is a detail that we build is this system of gabion uh, boxes and, and later the pavement of wood. The canal with a small bridge to connect both sides. This is the discharge canal of the mill. Just in this moment, I was finishing the, the work in the, in the park, uh, as you can see. And the best thing for me is that uh, all the neighborhood uh, has considered this like his home park. Uh, it's difficult to, to preview uh, some, I don't know how you <laughs> can say that, uh, the people that are trying to destroy everything. Uh, young people above all, but uh, people from the neighborhood uh, who want to conserve this park as best as possible, uh, and they uh, use uh, a lot uh, during all the week, especially the, the weekend, uh, and in, in a place uh, very, very, very complicated of Seville, as I told you. Uh, this is uh, the first project that we wanted to show, and now uh, Javier <coughs> is going to speak on the next one. self-confident to, to do the lecture standing up so <laughs> I will be from here and I will I will try to be briefly go briefly I'm going to try to summarize uh, kind of research as, as Paco explained before uh, a work that actually and um, which we have been 
working about uh, for six years between La Universidad del Estudio Romana Sapienza and the Universidad de Sevilla. Thanks to the invitation uh, of Fabrizio Topetti uh, and our dear uh, Federico Di, Di Cosmo. I, I would say that actually he's the soul of, of, this, of this research, so should be he who explained this, this research, in fact. <laughs> What and actually the research tried um, to try was to propose a kind of a regeneration of uh, a territorial very re regeneration strategy for all the Nera River Basin. It's important to say that around also 20 people that you can see there, uh, 20 people took part in, in this research, amazing people that has had the pleasure, we have been had the pleasure to, to know and work with. Uh, for who don't know it, uh, the Nera River, it's uh, a tributary of the river uh, Tiber, the Tiber River, and, and it's located in the middle of the Italian peninsula, in the province of Umbria, and its course create a, a basin uh, called Concaternana, like at the Ternan, uh, um, basin. Uh, we can see how, for example, the, the position of the Concaternana has always had a situation of a kind of subsidiarity, I, I don't know how to say it, <laughs> subsidiarity um, with the Capot Mundi, with Rome, and uh, as a tributary of the, of the Tiber uh, River. And therefore, it's cultural, economic, social, Logics inevitably sh um, leads to, to Rome or depends to, uh, uh, of Rome. Um, the valley has uh, of the the valley of the of the Nera River, uh, in fact, shows similar situation with the course of the River Po. As it creates like a kind of plain that allows the creation of an important number, a huge number of meanders. Uh, that, in, as we, in our case of the study, would be, we think that should be a spaces of opportunity. Uh, the Nera Valley starts, as you can see, uh, in the Casta, uh, Cascate de Le Marmore, a Roman waterfall, which explains that this is, has been a territory that has been occupied by, in all the history. No? It's a really anthropicized territory and landscape. Uh, the system of town, uh, as you can see, is clearly influenced by the, the course of the, of the river, with uh, important paesi, important towns, such as Terni, Colecipoli, San Gemini, Narni, obviamente, Montoro, San Liberato, ending in Orte, right on the border, on the frontier with the Lazio region. Uh, despite being like a line, linear, a linear system, no? a fluvial system indeed, there are a series of uh, transversalities that explain how this shelterment works in a very similar dynamic of that of every river, as the four river, no? as if these urban uh, centers were tributaries also of a central uh, system of, of cities. Uh, here, for example, we can see that uh, despite this subsidiarity uh, respect to the Tiber, the Nera has its own power pool, we could say. This is power pool, hydro hydrological structure. We can see two separate demarcations. Uh, uh, on the one side, the Parco Naturale del Nera, and on the other side, the Parco del Delta de la Valnerina. And right in the center, the Cascate de Le Marmone, no? Come se fosse una croce nel mezzo del, del deserto. One of these, uh, one of the first things that, that we did um, was to take photo, thanks to our colleague, <laughs> Alexandro Lanzetta, uh, of all the architectural, infrastructural, historical, natural, or energetic also element that already exists along this, this, this territory, along the Nera landscape. And the, the idea was to create a sort of alphabet, no? like uh, Miriam told us yesterday, in order to understand uh, the language of the landscape. No? 
just uh, through this language, we would be able to understand that the existence of the water, of the river, had been uh, structuring all the activity of the area, and also condition, obviously, its architecture. I, as I mentioned before, the, the erosion of the river allows uh, the creation of this, of this uh, central plain, like, like uh, a triangle, uh, and on the other hand, the configuration, obviously, of a series of bluffs or watch towers that has been occupied since the Roman. I think that it's important to remark that the research process uh, was continuously combining the territorial and the urban scale. No? We can't understand the territorial logic of any kind of, of, of landscape without its urban reality. Uh, this combining system allowed, uh, allowed us to understand the system of communication also between these urban centers, but also the urban fabric on a smaller scale of each center, on the internal scale, scale of the city, uh, also allows us to, to understand how important are the infrastructure and the connection for, this, for all the Italian uh, peninsula. No? In that way, we can see how the great Roman roads, such as the Flaminia, also had the capacity to vertebrate the interior of these historic centers, such as Narni, or determinate also the position, the construction of important infrastructures, such as the Ponte, Ponte de Augusto. Actually, La Conca Ternana, the Ternan basis, has been historically seen as a vertebrate element of the last cave from Leonardo da Vinci in the 400 to Enricus uh, Omnius on the 17th century. And it has also been the subject of a kind of pilgrim route during the Grand Tour, uh, where all these Roman ruins also create sort of idyllic and exotic alphabet in the memory of several generations of painters and, and artists. We see how this system of town has been mostly maintained if we compare all the, 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 the ancient situation and, and nowadays situation with this sequence of Terni, Narni, and Orte as the central spine of the, of the, of the valley. And also how the system of roads and, and the main infrastructures, despite all the systemic and cultural changes that obviously uh, has been developing from the 19th uh, a century to the 21st, it's also maintained. Uh, through this plan, for example, uh, I think that, that it's easier to, to understand the, the territorial, the three territorial units that we recognize in the, in the research, um, with which we work deeply in the, in the last part of the, of the research. Firstly, uh, the Cascata delle Marmore, then the Ternana Basi, or Conca Ternana, uh, in the middle, and in the reaction with the river, the Tiber River, the, where Montoro, San Liberato, and finally Orte are, are located. The alphabet that I mentioned before uh, was also important in order to recognize uh, how the architecture was in plan in this territory, in this kind of ecosystem. Uh, mapping firstly the ancient, the ancient urban fabric and then the modern, the modern one, uh, we, uh, it was an, an, uh, the objective to uh, recreate this, uh, the, the real and actual uh, situation of the architecture. To then set up, uh, set up uh, uh, this sort of atlas of town no? to the morphological analysis, we added another uh, analysis concerning the social, the productive, and the economic uh, reality to establish what kind of uses we could incorporate in, into the, the course of the, of the NERA, but we don't have enough time to, to go deeper. No? Always trying to achieve uh, two objectives. On the one hand, to revitalize those urban areas, and on the other, to reconnect all these urban centers to the river. Above any other aspect, uh, uh, coexistence emerged, and that was crucial. To achieve this double objective, we resort uh, to another language system, another alphabet also, that consists on every and all small uh, infrastructures associated with water. 
reservoirs, small dams, mills, pools, all these elements, many of them that were abandoned, were precisely the activators, the keys, we can say, on which uh, we based an, integer, an integral system for regenerate the, the Nero River. Uh, the complexity and the dimension that Federico knows well of the entire basin uh, made necessary to segment uh, the project into different areas, although uh, all of them were based on the same premises, obviously, on the same project, common project. Intervention uh, with a low ecological impact, this was crucial and super important. A commitment to a sustainable mobility, also. The agrotourism as, a, as the main um, uh, economical activity, and a zero kilometer market system. And at the same time, all of them by, based on the alphabet of this aquatical, hydrological, alphabet the elements that I have just mentioned. The, the result was, uh, were six projects associated with six towns. Orte, as, as we can see in the, on there, um, <coughs> in order, Orte, Montoro, Narni, Colesipoli, Terni, and Papinho and two wetland areas that was San Liberato and the central area of the lake of the lakes. We tried to summarize the whole proposal in a master plan like this that uh, seeks to blur the limits of the project, to blur the limits of the, of the concaternana. That is to say that the project seeks to, to revitalize the, the, the Nera River, but also to add these transversalities that uh, plant uh, like a plant in a seed capable of growth along the time in, in the territory. Paco, Lola, Rodriguez, and, and I uh, were in charge of developing the, the project, the central project, no? the project of the of the, the central, I mean, geographically, you know, the most important, <laughs> uh, the, the project of the lakes in the middle of the, of the, the conca, in which basically a, a system of polder was set up to allow uh, recreational uh, wetlands that appear when the water grows, but also with the capacity to regenerate the system biodiversity. In addition to this defensive system, no, as we can see in the Netherlands, of polder, uh, which could be crossed from the top, uh, a system also of pito depuration plants, as uh, Paco has just mentioned in, in the Wadaina project, uh, was introduced also uh, through different plants, uh, as well uh, as a system of, of flood gates to regulate the level of the different uh, lakes. And in addition, uh, also the, 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 the whole project was linked by a psycho-pedestrian path also, and of a series of cultural and agro-tourism facilities. Uh, that initial idea of taking advantage of the persistences can be seen, I think, uh, it's very, it's very clear in the image, the picture above, which an, an old dam converted into a viewpoint and a cycle and a cycle path. Other areas such as the Papinho one wa, wa, consist on a large, as you can see also in the picture, a large light infrastructure capable to reconnect both sides of the of the valley no? by uh, an, an strategy or uh, based on the uh, on parasites uh, by parasiting the old industrial area of Papinho used as a as a film set for a wonderful film that is La Vida es Bella Life is Beautiful La Vida es Bella full of uh, warehouses and abandoned architecture it was um, a light but a radical structure that remember to the super studio approaches to the future uh, landscape. The case, another case, the case of Colesipoli was also interesting as it proposed to reconnect also the historical village, it's in a, in a hill, on a hill, with the lower and the modern part that is more industrial. This was done through an equipment corridor, as you can see, a quit, the equipped green corridor with parks, as, as well as cultural and productive, productive also buildings. 
right in its contact with the river, its corridor was connected with the lake area that I have just explained. No? So that each of the projects, each of the parties, of the, each of the areas had a point of contact with another zone. So as if it were a, a chain narrative. The case of, of Narni Escalo uh, is perhaps uh, the most similar to, to the Po case, thanks to the uh, Espea X Factory. The, the, the proposal was based on the creation of a sequence of park. Uh, firstly, the, 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 more, uh, the, the, the area that was nearer to the station uh, was a urban park. Then a second one that was a, an industrial park using the facilities of the old factory. And finally, at the end, a large agricultural park around precisely the around the, the course of the of the Nera River. The case of Montoro is the last case that I wanna explain to you. It's probably uh, the most extreme situation because the historical urban settlement of, of uh, Montoro is in a really high area. Meanwhile, the industrial one, the industrial part, was is on the lowest part, no? near the, the river. Uh, we propose the construction of a, of a powerful infrastructure, no? as you can see in the picture, uh, through a bridge, a kind of bridge, a kind of aqueduct, no? combined with also uh, horticultural production areas that, and, and the, the zero kilometer market system that, that, I, that I commented before. Here, as in the College Chipoli case, uh, the creation of a kind of green <coughs> buffer zone along the river bank was also, was also one of the proposals that we can find is the impact in this along all the, the riverside. At the end, all these proposals, and, and this, is the, this is the last slide, so to re-establish the light in the course of the, of the Nera River, also to return the water to its condition as a social infrastructure, but also contain, uh, it contains, or we think that it contains a certain idea of degradation over the time. Thinking of them, thinking in this project, uh, as uh, objects subject to destruction, to ruin, thinking uh, on them as, uh, as if uh, as future corpses that would one day inspire future, why not, future travelers uh, about how our generation, us, answer to this climatic catharsis that we are suffering but also provoking. So, thank you very much. So, many thanks, uh, Francisco, uh, Pablo, and uh, Javier uh, Navarro. Um, you, you were perfect on time. <laughs> like, so, we have some, some time to or maybe some comments. Uh, I, uh, I just want to point out uh, one thing uh, for each project. Um, I know uh, the, most of the works of Francisco Gomez Diaz, but I must admit I, <clears throat> I did not know really well uh, the park you you show uh, us, um, but uh, what I appreciate uh, a lot is the um, is the possibility to use uh, uh, poor materials uh, and uh, ordinary form to enhance the ecological features of of the city. And that remember me, uh, for example, the strategies of, uh, me, uh, of uh, Davigne, for example. Uh, and um, uh, for the project of Nera <laughs> that I have the pleasure to work on, I just want to say uh, 
that the water was the, um, the, the element, the device, uh, that helped us to rediscover some, uh, uh, some spaces, some areas, uh, which uh, were going to be lost. And through the, um, the, the, the rivers, we, we uh, have been able to, uh, to connect this abandoned or semi-abandoned area to uh, historical cities and again to the river. So many thanks again. Uh, and uh, if there are some questions, please. <laughs> the municipality of Seville has uh, some decisions common for the whole uh, belt of parks around the city. Uh, I would prefer, as I have made in other places, a material that uh, has less necessity of water. Uh, anyway, the, the specialist of uh, our own engineer in Seville told us that <coughs> they designed a system of draining eh, of these spaces, it was sustainable. This is uh, the, the criteria that they told us. Uh, not only in, in this park, uh, I have shown some images of the other park and the situation is similar. Uh, I prefer another kind of uh, treatment, including the, the green areas, because there are uh, another kind of spices, um, probably more autochthons than the, the grass, that could be, for me, more ecological system. But uh, as we decided that every space where you are going to stay or you, you have some function related to the uh, neighborhood, uh, all the um, were green, but the decision of the system of grass wasn't for us. Well, first of all, thank you for, for the, the, the lecture. I can imagine back for the amount of work in order to be able to construct that park in Sevilla in Spain. <laughs> That's a big project. So, congratulations. Um, I, uh, I, uh, I wanted to know if, uh, if the, the, first of all, if the second phase, if you think that the second phase is going to be constructed. <laughs> Or have that in, <laughs> in your mind. And, um, uh, and also um, about the research project, I would like to know oh, uh, if, because uh, it seems that, I don't, I don't know how to explain that, that the area that in order to contract the, the first project seems, seems to be really. Or balance, and, and, and the, 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 the research is, is amazing, no? But you imagine this kind of I don't know the, 
I don't know what the answer. Maybe that's something that is just in my mind. Uh, like a kind of Buddha territory, no? Uh, that has a lot of design. Uh, I, I know that it's a research project, but to imagine no, that now we need to construct something, no? something that we have read and go and research about. How do you think that it could be, let's say, landed in the you know, construction phase? No? Uh, and which of the strategies that I think that we can learn from the first project that back, back look has presented to, uh, in a way, uh, help no? or, or be uh, introduced in, 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 in that project. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, according with the first question, um, of course, we design the park uh, with all its components, <laughs> uh, and we would like to finish that. Especially because when we won the competition, uh, we were in a very good situation. Eh? We we were nearly reached like in the north of Spain, and we thought that Nihalio was possible. Uh, later, the, the real situation made that the municipality uh, told us that it was impossible to improve the second phase. The second phase uh, had different things, the, the buildings, the, the building facility, facilities building eh, that was the, the way to cross under the uh, Royal Road, that for me was very important, is similar to one of the projects that Mark showed the other day. And um, the bridge over the, the, the river <laughs> was necessary. <laughs> uh, the third uh, project, or the third part of this second phase, or third phase, that uh, we thought that was possible was uh, this project inside the, the mill, the restoration of the mill, in order to uh, build inside the faculty of agricultural engineering. It was a project of the major of the university. Uh, I spoke several times with him, and he was very happy with this project. Because he thought, uh, not only we recover a part of our, our heritage eh, in a periphery situation, <laughs> but uh, the old park is the place for doing all kind of practice of this uh, agricultural engineering. Uh, anyway, you know that the crisis was terrible, and uh, after that, Everybody has forgotten, except the neighborhood inhabitants. Not this part, as I told you, that is terrible, it's very problematic. Uh, in fact, there is, uh, or, or we have had a lot of vandalism inside the park uh, of young people, and I imagine that part of this system of the hyper market of the drug. Mm -hmm. uh, but the, the common people in this quarter uh, are a nation with, uh, with the park. And they use continuously not only the orchard, but all the park. And this makes me happy. But you know that the political situation is yeah. very complex. You told you yeah. <laughs> about this yesterday, um, even though we are poor. <laughs> <laughs> I think that it's important to say that it's not, as Paco said, one of the most, the, most, the poorer, uh, it's the poorest neighborhood in Spain. Yeah. <laughs> and the most, uh, the, the neighborhood with most, with the most value rates of unemployment, no? Mm -hmm. in that's the mil vivienda, so it's a huge, yeah, yeah, yeah. a huge problem, no? So, no, for the second question, I, I think that, yes, uh, although it can, can seem like a rural 
territory is not at all. It's not at all. It's super anthropocide, no? Fede could, could explain better than me. Uh, but yes, this kind of, of approach, I think that uh, answer more to uh, to a provocation of the conscience of, of the administration, the regional administration, more than obviously, I mean, a uh, project that can be real as the first one, no? as the Guadalajara, probably, when each of these fragment, fragments uh, are deeply, would be deeply uh, developed, probably changed to a different scale. But the, 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 the intention was a kind of provocation. So, yes. <laughs> and I just want to add something. That, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Briefly, um, the, the the project was um, uh, somehow something to 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 highlight the some hidden va values of territory that uh, uh, administration. Uh, didn't know to have, so this is one of the of the of the goal. These were one of the goals of this research. Sorry. No, no, no. I mean, I, I want to. You know, it's interesting for me as a North American <laughs> watching two presentations, and um, I'm going to say it's kind of a weird compliment, but it's it's wonderful that your culture has your architecture. Your design culture has competitions as a means of commissioning work because within the kind of logic of a competition, you're dealing with ideas. And then if you win, then that gives you legibility, you know, and legitimacy to continue those ideas, which we have very few competitions in North America. So I think the kind of degree of research that you guys put into sites is representative of that. And I have to say I'm a bit envious for sure. But that's it. <laughs> Um, again, as a foreigner and someone who studied, not you know, in an overly scholarly way, but fell in love with romantic paintings of essentially Italian landscapes and Roman landscapes, um, I'm really interested in how design as a constructed logic and built logic can deal with the fact that, in my mind, those paintings are, are speaking about an idea more than a reality. In, in, in the, the painters was a fatigue with the built work, and they were romanticizing the romantic realm, right? The, the idea that things decay, and, and in some ways, we are susceptible to that as well, too. You know, so it's, I guess my question specifically is, how do you deal when we, when we build things in a construction logic, essentially the ethos around a romantic realm, which is more of an idea? <laughs> about the competition. Uh, every kind of uh, public project, any kind, uh, uh, is the same in the central government, in the regional government, in the province government, in the municipal government. All them, uh, the only way to get a project is a competition. And I think that, uh, for me, is the best way eh, in order to the quality of the proposal. Eh? Proposal of the scale of uh, landscape, the uh, urban scale, or architectural scale. Uh, when you see the process, eh, uh, till 1990, approximately, uh, before uh, all the projects were made by big companies, uh, uh, most of them uh, were from Madrid, and uh, they <laughs> designed this project most time without now 
uh, the, the village or the place. Eh? Uh, after that, they decided that uh, a competition was the only way to get a project. If you compare the previous project and the ones that is made after that, the quality is completely different. Okay? You can see in any magazine where these are uh, pulis, and um, I'm not speaking of me. Uh, I, I have lost a lot of competition. <laughs> you told that. We, we present in, 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 the, in the competition, uh, you are one or no one. <laughs> But uh, when you see the product at the end, uh, most of them, you think that uh, although you have lost this project, the one that has uh, won was the better. And uh, 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 it's, it's real. And I, I remember one project we, we had uh, worked a lot. Uh, I don't know if you know. Medina Zara. Medina Zara is an Islamic city, not the ruins of it, an Islamic city near via, nearby of Cordoba. It's uh, six kilometers. Uh, was a, a city built along 75 years, and its life was similar. Eh? was built by the first caliph uh, of uh, Cordoba, of the Ramon the uh, Third, in the 19th century, then arrived the <laughs> uh, the ISIS in this moment. It was the Almohads and destroyed the city. Uh, uh, it was a vision to make the uh, museum of this city, and uh, was an international competition, or really good. I don't, I don't know was presented like uh, 100 of proposal. And we <laughs> thought that we were to win <laughs> this competition. Uh, but when uh, the jury uh, decided that the winner was, uh, I imagine that you know, uh, Nieto Subejano from Madrid, and I saw mm -hmm. the strategy, I thought you are very, very, very clever. <laughs> <laughs> is the best proposal of all the hundred ones that was presented. Okay. And so, congratulations. I think it's the best way. Okay. And another thing, it's the best way for young people. Because uh, we are all there, uh, probably we have come back uh, to get some projects. But young people that finish their career and have to do something, how can I get the effort? The only way is a competition. And I have uh, all uh, students that are making really good projects, always after the competition. The best example is the Reyes Computer Center, no? for example, that they won when they were young. <laughs> Yes, uh, ans uh, answering the, the second question, I, I think that yes, we, we are also in love with these romantic paintings, and and uh, in, in my uh, personally, I, I I see these kind of uh, approaches of the our projects, different projects like uh, the Capriccio, Canaletto, Venetian. Saving the distance, <laughs> but yes, it's, it's that, that's why I, I would like to, to finish with, with this mention to the future future travelers probably that uh, will find these these drawings and this design and think about I don't know the this uh, display of, of uh, windows temporal windows and, and capriccios and, and so on, but yes, it it has its not has been just an, a reference to you know to fulfill a, a book. It's, it has been a clear reference to this capacity of the pro, uh, uh, 
architectural project to create things that without all those limits. No? So we are kind of, uh, kind of utopic people, but <laughs> it's, it's inspiring. Uh, first of all, thank you for your presentation. It was really interesting. Uh, something that I was thinking about, and then after is uh, this first about the reality check a project as to place uh, when it's done. Uh, it makes me think about because I think that Italy and Spain are different for sure, but some like the for the competition, for sure. But oh, but for the um, I don't know the let's say management uh, and some problems uh, during the construction uh, or some things that were supposed to be some in a way and then uh, they become something else <laughs> because during the process something changed. Uh, and also about the the fact that there are some areas that are much more difficult to deal with for um, social social problems, social issues. Uh, so in the first project you presented, uh, you talked about these two issues. One is about uh, what happens when uh, the municipality doesn't support anymore, and the other is uh, how to deal with difficult uh, Difficult uh, context, social context. But something that I really appreciated, I, and I think we have to be a little bit, to have a little bit of faith in that, is that we continue to propose good projects and good strategies. Uh, we try to, to push a little bit forward a new vision that maybe could be something for people who are coming. So even if we have to compromise, we have to compromise with the, with the money, with the issues, for example, I don't really like the idea of this green grass, but still, I have to deal with that, I have to compromise. But at the end, what we have saw, it's a good project with a good public space and with good potential, so I'm sure that there, uh, yes, maybe there are some of those that don't really get <laughs> it, <laughs> but there are others that will appreciate. So, this reality check some, sometimes could be tough and hard to, uh, to accept, but on the other hand, uh, you were able to do something for, for the community, for the, for the ecology. So, it's always a question of balance, but uh, how do you? I mean, I know it's difficult, but uh, in the reality, how do you deal with this uh, with this process? And uh, I mean, not how do you deal, but uh, I, I try to find the positive even in, in this. Uh, in this uh, <coughs> <laughs> I know that it will Cuba. In Thailand, there for 25 years, uh, they tell uh, something that I can't imagine. They always say it's not easy. <laughs> Never say this is difficult. <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> the process is a process. It's an open process. <laughs> Everything we are speaking these days about uh, the project that we are uh, signing here. That is an open process because we don't know where we will arrive. Uh, when you uh, present a proposal in a competition, uh, you have a, a drawing. <laughs> you have a drawing. And later, you have to fight uh, with the municipality that has uh, a lot of special of everything. Each decision you have to accord with them because, in the other way, they don't approve the project. And sometimes you decide, What do I do? <laughs> eh? 
first time of the of, of the project, or I try to do the best uh, arc uh, with these conditions. This is a very difficult uh, situation. After that, I write a company, and you don't know which company is. And of course, we know that all the companies has a, a, a clear objectives to win money. <laughs> but it's perfect. But you have to build, to construct this park as best as possible. We decided that all the materials, I have spoken about uh, someone like the Albero, that is uh, very near, but uh, all the decisions are uh, down uh, a point of view to try uh, to use the material as close as possible eh? and as cheap as possible because uh, I, I haven't spoken about the investment. The, the park has 55 hectares of surface and it costs 10 million euros. Uh, according with the investment of another part, part of this bell, this green bell, uh, was the cheapest one. According with the, with the surface. Uh, this is important. Anyway, uh, we had a company, a part of the company, because not was a company, it was several companies, but one of them uh, the, the owner of this company that was the, all the uh, dedicated to the um, plantation of trees uh, was the best one I have ever worked. I, I thought I, I have to build a monument to this person because when the municipality uh, didn't receive, didn't uh, took the, the, the park uh, because in this moment they had to uh, maintain uh, the park. He paid himself for two years uh, the maintenance of the park because he said that uh, he had put his heart on the park and didn't want that we could lose all the trees two years. So uh, we were lucky in this, in this way, but uh, not easy because uh, we were a change of the municipality and uh, came a very deep crisis, economical crisis, and they decided not to find anything. And even today, the most important thing is the neighborhood. People that take the park as its own. For me, it's the best because yeah. it's, it's the, 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 the main thing that uh, I thought when we arrived there. Eh? It's a very problematic area. Eh? We have talked about this and to work with these people, for me, probably is the best thing of all the process. Okay, Marta. <laughs> the surprise. It's your turn. You have any surprise for us? <laughs> okay. Okay. Dinner is waiting for us. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.